Lesson 17. 17th Lesson. The Characters in the Essential English. Books. 2. Mrs. Priestley and Some Others. You already know Mr. Priestley, the teacher and writer. In this lesson you will hear about his wife, Mrs. Priestley, the Priestley's house, and some of the people in the house. Mrs. Priestley knows all about the house, she does the work in it every day. And today she will tell you a little about it. Mrs. Priestley Sewing Mrs. Priestley is a pleasant-looking woman of about 40, with warm brown hair and soft dark brown eyes. She is kind and gentle, but she manages her house, and, in her quiet way, her husband, very well. He is, of course, a clever man, but a little unpractical, and he needs Mrs. Priestley to look after him. Mrs. Priestley, on the other hand, is very practical and full of common sense. The Priestleys have two children, John and Margaret. John is 18, 6 foot tall, and a fine manly fellow. He is at the university and is studying to be a doctor. He is a clever, hard-working student, a first-class footballer, boxer, and runner. He is strong both in body and character, and quiet and thoughtful like his father. He will make a good doctor. Margaret is only 11. She is a lovely little girl with golden hair and dark blue eyes and a spirit that is always bright and happy, full of joy and gaiety. She isn't fond of study of any kind. But she loves music and dancing and she sings very prettily. She is like a ray of sunshine in the house. Mr. Priestley is very fond of his son John and very proud of him. And Margaret is the apple of his eye. But here comes Mrs. Priestley. Good morning, Mrs. Priestley, how are you? Mrs. Priestley, good morning, everyone. I'm very well, thank you. You want to know about my house? Well, I am very pleased to be here and I will gladly tell you something about it. The house is rather big, and there is a lot of work in it. So I can't do everything alone. I have Susan and Lizzie to help me with the work. Lizzie is our cook, and she is a very good cook, but she is no good at all at housework. Now, Susan is very good at housework, but she can't cook at all, she can't even boil an egg. But that is all right, for Lizzie gets on with her cooking, and Susan and I do the housework, and, believe me, we all work very hard. Susan and Lizzie get up at a quarter to seven, and make the fires and open the windows. I get up at half past seven, and so does my husband, in time for breakfast at eight o'clock. We have breakfast in the breakfast room. I like to begin the day well, so our breakfast is always a good one. My husband reads his newspaper and smokes a cigarette with his last cup of tea, before he begins his work at nine o'clock. Then Lizzie and Susan begin to clean the house, wash up, make the beds, and get the vegetables ready for lunch. We have lunch at one o'clock. Susan washes up. After that I do some sewing, or go out for a walk, or go to see people. We have afternoon tea about 5 o'clock, but for that we don't go into the dining room. We go to the sitting room. And Susan brings in the tea with plates of bread and butter and small cakes. After tea we sit and talk or listen to the wireless or read. Sometimes we go to the cinema or the theatre. About 7 or 8 o'clock we have dinner or supper, and at 11 o'clock I generally go to bed, but my husband likes to sit up late and read or write in his study. Well, that is all for the present. I will tell you more about the house some other time. Exercises 1. Put in the words that are left out 1. You, know Mr. Priestley the teacher and writer. 
2. In this lesson you, hear about his wife. 3. Today she, tell you, about it. 4. Mrs. Priestley is a looking woman of 40. 5. She is kind of, but she, her house very well. 6. He is, of, a clever man but rather, 7. The Priestleys have two, John and Margaret. 8. John is a fine, fellow. He is at the, 9. Margaret is a, lit girl with, hair. 10. She is always happy and full of, 11. She isn't, of study of any kind, 12. She is like a, of sunshine in the house. 13. Margaret is the, of his eye. 14. I am very, to be here. 15. The house is big and there is a, of work in it, so I can't do everything. 16. Susan can't even, an egg. 17. Lizzie and Susan get the, ready for lunch. 18. After lunch I do some, or go out for a walk. 19. After tea we sit and talk or listen to the 20. Well, that is all for the 2. Answer the following. Make sentences for your answers. 1. Who will tell you about the Priestley's house? 2. How old is Mrs. Priestley? 3. What color are her eyes and her hair? 4. What does she manage very well? 5. How many children have the Priestleys? 6. What are their names? 7. How old is John and where is he? 8. What is he studying to be? 9. What is he fond of? 10. What color is Margaret's hair? 11. What does she do? 12. Is Mr. Priestley fond of her? 13. Who does the cooking in the Priestley's house? 14. What time does Lizzie get up? 15. What time do you generally go to bed? 16. Do the Priestleys have an early breakfast? 17. Where do they have breakfast? 18. What does Mrs. Priestley do after lunch? 19. What do they have for tea? 20. When will Mrs. Priestley tell you more about the house? Idiomatic phrases, 3. In this lesson there are a lot of idiomatic phrases, that is, the kind of phrases that English people use in ordinary everyday conversation. Here they are again, learn them, and then use each in a sentence, 1. A pleasant looking woman, 2. A hard working student, 3. A first class footballer, 4. Of course, 5. To look after him, 6. Common sense, 7. He will make a good doctor, 8. Of any kind, 9. On the other hand, 10. Susan is very good at housework, 11. Lizzie is no good at all at housework, 12. That is all right, 13. Lizzie gets on with the cooking, 14. I get up at 7 o'clock, 15. We get the vegetables ready, 16. We wash up and make the beds, 17. I go out for a walk. 18. Susan brings in the tea. 19. My husband likes to sit up late. 20. That is all for the present. 4. Make a sentence or two about each of the following. 1. Mrs. Priestley. 2. John Priestley. 3. Margaret. 4. Lizzie. 5. Susan. 6. The Priestley's house. 7. Their breakfast. 8. Their tea. 9. Their evening. Dictation. Mrs. Priestley is coming to tell us all about her house. It is rather big and there is a lot of work in it, so she has Lizzie and Susan to help her. Susan does the housework and keeps the house clean. Lizzie cooks the breakfast, lunch and dinner. After breakfast Lizzie and Susan wash up, clean the house, make the beds and get the vegetables ready for lunch. Mrs. Priestley has lunch, does some sewing or goes to see people. In the evening, after tea, they all talk or read, listen to music or the wireless, or sometimes they go to the cinema or the theatre.
Thank you very much for the likes and subscribe to our channel.